today Sarah and I are going to make some delicious apple turnovers. We're gonna peel these and core them and then we're gonna dice them. But if you just put your knife parallel to the apple and rotate the apple, you can really peel them in such a way where you don't lose too much of the actual apple. I'm gonna split them in half. And if you put your thumb right over the core and just rotate, it comes out really easily. And we will do this with each one of them. Now that they're all cut, we're just gonna somewhat cube them, just like so. And you see all these beautiful peels? You can either put them in your compost pile, you can, if you have chickens, you can give it to them, or you can put them in the dehydrator and then eventually use them in a tea. Our apples have been cubed, and now we're gonna get this little bit of butter, place it in a pan, and melt it. The butter goes in, and it is in here that we'll place the apples and keep them in the pan to be coated with the butter before we add the other ingredients. And here are all these beautiful apples. We happen to have three different kinds, but you could pick any apple you would like. We're just gonna let this cook and simmer for about four or five minutes before we add the other ingredients. While the apples are in the pan, we're gonna add some cinnamon, the brown sugar, and a nice little pinch of salt. And then we're gonna mix this up and pour it over our apples. This is definitely starting to smell like fall. All the cinnamon is just gonna be a wonderful addition. Let's fill this in. And then we're going to put just a little bit of this lemon zest, not much. And then a bit of lemon juice as well. And we let this cook again for just a few minutes before it's actually ready to go into our apple turnovers. Now this is totally optional. But here we have just a bit of cornstarch that we're gonna sift in here. And this will keep the juices from the apples from leaking out from our turnovers. A quick toss as well. And then we will allow the apples to cool down before we could place them into the pastry. So we cheated a bit because we got the prepared puff pastry that you can get at the grocery store and it measures about nine by, what is it? By nine. So we're gonna at least get it to 10 inches. I'm gonna lightly dust the work surface and roll it out just a bit and make it into a square that is about 10 inches. rolled it out as evenly as possible. Now I'm just gonna get the center here as well as the center right there. And now we'll simply be able to cut it into squares. So we're gonna have eight squares, eight apple turnovers. There we go. These will be ready to be filled. So here we have all our nice little squares. We're gonna place these in the freezer so they can be nice and cold. Now we're gonna to have to mix some of the egg wash. And all it is is an egg yolk with some heavy cream. And this will be perfect for brushing over our popovers. Today we're using the Fontana Gusto where the burning chamber is below. And this is how the oven gets heated up. And above instead is the cooking chamber. Let's peek inside. The heat travels from the burning chamber all around the cooking chamber. And this is where we're gonna place the apple turnovers. In order to cool them off quicker, we kind of spread them out on the sides. 
and now it is time to fill our apple turnovers so let's put a bit right here in the center and we're going to divvy this out before we fold them now let's get each one of them and then here we're going to put a little bit of this egg wash right along the edges so that they will easily stick when we fold them. And we're gonna fold it over like so. And if they're not perfect, it's okay. There, and then with a fork, we're going to seal them by just pressing down all the way around. You just wanna make sure that they, they are sealed well so the juice doesn't come out. But you have to have some air for steam to escape. So we're gonna go just like this and place it back on the pan. We will continue doing this with each one of them and then place them in the oven. And here they are. We're gonna place them back into the refrigerator just so the dough can really cool off before we place them in the oven. Now we took these out of the refrigerator and we're going to brush them with the egg wash. And we decided that we will just brush half of them and leave the other half without any egg wash and see what they will look like at the end. Our pastries are ready to go into the oven. Let's open the door, place them in, and allow the oven to do its heat. You know that delicious glaze that usually goes over the apple turnovers? Well, here we're gonna mix a bit of powdered sugar, heavy cream, and just a drop of vanilla. We're gonna stir this up. We might actually need to add just a tad more of heavy cream. Just think a few drops and this will do it. Yeah, already much better because this will be drizzled. Let's peek inside and admire our beautiful apple turnovers. Look at all that yummy juice just bubbling out of there. So we can see the difference between the ones that were egg washed and the ones that just remain plain. Let's give our glaze a quick stir. And then with the help of a spoon, we're just gonna drizzle everything on top, just like this. And this will give it the right sweetness on this beautifully flaky dough. Another thing you could do is dust them with powdered sugar. And that is also very nice. And we are ready to gather everybody here around the table and enjoy a nice afternoon snack. Let's see if they're still too hot to open up. I might need a knife. Ooh, listen to that nice flakiness. Let's peek inside. And oh yes, look at these beautiful apples. And all that is left to do is to wish you un buon appetito. Mm -hmm.